Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a congratulatory cable to the President of the People's Republic of China, Xi Jinping, on the successful conclusion of the 19th National Congress of the Communist Party of China and the re-election of President Jinping as General Secretary of CPC Central Committee for a second term. His Majesty noted that this reflects the trust of the people in China in its wise leadership and it affirms success of China at all levels. His Majesty hailed the deep-rooted bilateral relations, highlighting the constructive cooperation and cooperation between the two friendly countries. His Majesty wished the Chinese President further success in carrying out his responsibilities to achieve the aspirations of the people of China, a further stability, progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, regarding the announcement of the development economic pro project NEOM. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed that the project embodies the insightful vision for the future of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the whole region. He also hailed the patronage of King Salman to the future investment initiative in Riyadh, in which His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of Saudi, Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, announced the project. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed that the project reflects the keenness of the leadership of Saudi Arabia to reinforce the development process in the kingdom and aids the historic achievements of the Saudi monarch in serving Saudi, Arab and Islamic nations. He reiterated his pride in the historic brotherly relations between Bahrain and Saudi, healing the development of these relations in various fields. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a similar cable to the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Defence Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, in which he congratulated him on the announcement of the unprecedented development project, NEOM. His Royal Highness noted the support of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia, to the events of the Future Investment Initiative, which took place in Riyadh. His Royal Highness noted that this reflects the custodian of the two holy mosques' wise vision, which aims at consolidating efforts and promoting the promising march of the Saudi people and the people of the region. The announcement of Neom Project is another achievement of the Saudi King in service of the country and the Arab and Islamic nations. The Prime Minister expressed pride in the deep-rooted historical bilateral relations and the level of cooperation at all levels. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, during his ongoing visit to the Kingdom of Thailand, took part in the royal cremation procession of the late Thai King, Bombol Abdul Yade, at the Grand Palace in Bangkok, in the presence of several kings, leaders, prime ministers and official delegations, representing 42 countries. On the occasion, His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, expressed condolences and sympathy to the Thai royal family and friendly people, recalling the role of the late king in reinforcing national stability and his efforts in supporting global peace. His Royal Highness said that the late Thai king was an inspirational leader who had a high international status, thanks to his contributions to the development of his country that affirmed him the love and appreciation of his people. He voiced confidence in the ability of His Majesty King Maha Raha Longhorn to build on his success in making Thailand one of the most advanced Asian countries in terms of economy and growth. The Prime Minister noted the constant boost in Bahraini-Thai relations which reflects the deep-rooted and mutual keen interest to further enhance joint cooperation in both economical, commercial and investment fields to achieve mutual interests. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa today visited the Bahrain International Airport expansion project. The project, one of the largest infrastructure projects in the Kingdom, is set to increase airport capacity threefold. 
During the visit, His Royal Highness emphasised that as well as supporting Bahrain's position as a central regional network route, the project will boost economic activity and strengthen the growth of the kingdom's tourism and local aviation sectors. He added that the expansion project will support Bahrain's strong position in the transport and logistics sector, which already offers competitive costs, strong human capital and a robust regulatory environment. The Crown Prince announced the formation of a committee headed by the Minister of Transport and Telecommunication Sectors, Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, to prepare for the operations of the new passenger terminal and stressed the need to inaugurate jobs for young Bahrainis into the project's developments. The Crown Prince was accompanied in the visit by Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa and Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. For his part, the Minister of Transportation and Communications, Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, for the visit to follow up the new airport expansion project. He also valued the directors of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, to form a committee to operate the new passenger building, affirming that these directors will be implemented to develop the logistics sector in the kingdom, thus serving the national economy. The Minister hailed the efforts and cooperation of the working team to exec execute the project and construction will be completed in the third quarter of 2019, according to the set time frame.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today received at Rifa Palace the outgoing Ambassador of the United States to the Kingdom of Bahrain, William Roebuck. His Royal Highness highlighted the strong and historic ties between Bahrain and the US, noting that ongoing efforts will continue to bolster cooperation and coordination across different areas and sectors. The Crown Prince extended thanks and best wishes to the Ambassador Roebuck in his service enhancing bilateral relations between the two countries and wished him every success in his future endeavours. For his part, Ambassador Roebuck expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his kindness on bolstering bilateral relations, praising the support he received during his tenure in the Kingdom. The Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Urbanisation and Infrastructure, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, patronised and inaugurated today the 10th edition of the Bahrain International Property Exhibition, BIBEX 2017 organised by Bahrain Society of Engineers. Present was the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Bil Ibrahim al Mutah, a number of ministers and members of the diplomatic corps and senior officials. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah noted the advanced level of national expertise in the field of real estate, thanks to His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa al Khalifa's approval and issuance of the real estate regulatory law. He added, that the national expertise was built on the investors' trust and that the Kingdom has become known for its strong legislative guarantees that protect the interest of the investors. Sheikh Khalid stressed that the real estate regulatory law it was expected to come into effect next March would become a legislative turning point and that it reflects the support the sector receives, which contributed to at least 5% of the GDP last year. The Deputy Premier expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for the support and follow-up of the law. He noted that the exhibition coincides with favourable conditions for real estate sector, such as the inauguration of the real estate regulatory establishment. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah also praised the successful partnership between the public and the private sector, reflected in Mazaya programme. He expressed appreciation to the sponsors of the exhibition. For his part, the President of Bahrain Society of Engineers expressed thanks to the Deputy Premier for his patronage of the event. leading property exhibition, BIPEX holds a significant spot in the Kingdom's real estate industry. Being a professionally organized non-profit event, it serves as a front-runner for the industry, offering a platform to its current happenings and directions it's heading to, and promotes the region's major infrastructures and real estate properties. Uh, BIPEX 2017, of course, is the 10th edition of our continuous uh, brand uh, Biopix, which has which started in 2004, and uh, it it has been a successful journey all uh, all along, and uh, we we think as as you can see that this this exhibition uh, this edition is is larger than last year's. We also have uh, better participation from external uh, exhibitors. Uh, we have exhibitors from uh, Cyprus, from uh, Pakistan, from Turkey, from United uh, Kingdom, from some of the major developers from UAE are also uh, here. We have all the major players of real estate development in, uh, in Bahrain. BIPEX is the perfect stage for investors, builders and buyers to discuss the difficulties facing the industry. It also provides an analysis that results in timely solutions and suggestions for a more profitable future. At the same time, developers get a golden opportunity to weigh the demand and provide finance, legal norms, taxation and returns on investment information to buyers. Uh, this is like a parade. 
for the real estate industry and for the uh, developers. As we see today, lots of new companies entering the market. We see lots of unique projects uh, and extraordinary projects. And I think uh, this gives a good push to the market, especially with the new laws and regulation and the uh, concern and the, uh, I think, the, 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 the top uh, government officials or, uh, or ministers or uh, the crown prince give um, uh, extreme uh, importance to this sector. So it's a flourishing. We see lots of beautiful projects today. It's a great honor for us to be here and we really uh, wanted to show our work. We have a, a lot of uh, significant legacy projects here in Bahrain in terms of architecture and design. One of which is this, this building itself, which is the exhibition center, which completed in mid-90s. And uh, we're doing a lot of new projects in Bahrain. And being part of BIPEX really will reinforce our involvement, but also showcase the projects to some of the citizens and to some of the uh, decision makers here in the country. The number of the visitors we already met in the uh, early hours are very impressive. Uh, what we are participating with, we're introducing a new concept, which is floating properties. We believe that the water is not at the end of the land, but it's an extension. It's to represent the most prime location of the land. So we came out with a concept, which is very innovative. We're offering floating properties. So it is a number of, could be hotels or retail places or villas, water homes, sea chalets. All of them, they are treated on a long term and a durable construction. It's a little bit different than the boats because we're treating them very much of a property. And they are, this is where we are today, participating in that beautiful exhibition. Over the past decade, BIPEX has been growing significantly and has consolidated its reputation as a key international property exhibition. By attracting both established and emerging real estate companies as exhibitors and participants, it draws a range of industry specialists and analysts to contribute to its deliberations through a free flow of information and ideas. BIPEX 2017 will go on until the 28th of October here at Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shogun Mohammed. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, received today the special envoy of the President of the Republic of the Maldives, Minister of Family and Gender, Zanisha Shahid Zaki. During the meeting, the Minister of Foreign Affairs expressed Bahrain's pride in the friendly relations with the Maldives, praising the great progress made in expanding joint cooperation in all fields for the benefit of both countries and people. For her part, the Special Envoy of the Maldives praised the bilateral relations between the two friendly countries, stressing the importance of enhancing joint coordination at various levels. She also noted the progress of Bahraini women in all fields and wish the Kingdom of Bahrain further progress and prosperity. Al Iman Girls School claimed the title of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum's Arab Breeding Challenge 2017, recently held in Dubai. More in this report with Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. There's no victory without patience, perseverance, team efforts, and real passion. After a whole year of continuous hard work, Al Iman Girls School won the first prize of one million US dollars in the Arab Breeding Challenge 2017, ahead of 41,000 schools from 25 Arab states. <laughs> The school was honored at the Dubai Opera House in the presence of dignitaries and ambassadors of the Arab countries and a large public presence. We were extremely nervous. You can feel the anxiety in the air. And we, were, we sat down for a few hours. We had the ceremony live in front of us on TV screens. And we were all waiting for the moment until they announced the winning. The crowd roared, roared to life and all of us were screaming and shouting. I can still remember the cheers. Uh, I actually cried at that time. I was really extremely happy. And uh, it, was a, it was a wonderful day. Afterwards came the, the uh, news reporters and the VIP guests and it was fun seeing yourself on TV. The prestigious prize was never easily attainable. 
it reflects the quality of educational services and the efforts exerted in stimulating the efficiencies and the achievement of highest levels of excellence and creativity in the various fields of school performance. The plan was set up for the students by the training team in order to enhance their abilities and skills in certain areas, starting with choosing the suitable books um, for their age and area of interest, followed by training them and applying some um, reading techniques, um, analyzing what they read, and using critical thinking skills. Also, they were trained on summarizing and finally uh, presenting what they learned. Uh, one of the most important strategies the school has implemented was integrating reading with all the school projects. So students were reading books all the time in different fields, as well as presenting their findings in the classrooms. Um, we were required to read books in our uh, class projects, like in history, Arabic, and geography. Furthermore, uh, the school took us on many beneficial trips, and it, the school also created many libraries in different institutes and clinics to re, uh, for people to read in public. Winning the prize was not the ultimate goal. It's the beginning of a journey to spread reading as a culture and lifestyle. We are having goals to spread the reading habits in the community, um, in the school, in any like subjects like Arabic geography and our projects. We're trying like to connect them with the challenge to show everybody that reading is like not a struggle. We can't overcome this obstacle that everybody's thinking that's a struggle, but it's like can be a part of our lives. Knowing that those girls full of energy and patriotism, shining with hopes for a bright future, not only supported by their school, but acknowledged on such a large scale, with a proud kingdom that has true faith in their capabilities, will be the leaders of tomorrow, is certainly a source of pride. Out of 41,000 schools, Iman School's Brave Girls raised Bahrain's flag up high by winning the first place in a Middle East reading challenge, reflecting very hard work and preparation. Reporting for Bahrain International, Amheba Abdul Ghafoor. A press conference on the International Brave Week and the World Mixed Martial Arts for Amateurs Championship was held yesterday in Manama. The championship will be held from the 12th to the 19th of November under the patronage of the personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Chairman of the Berean Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and organised by the IMMAF in collaboration with the Berean Federation of Mixed Martial Arts, under the media office of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The President of the Berean Mixed Martial Arts Federation, and head of the executive committee, Khaled al Khayat, affirmed that Bahrain hosting the fourth edition of the championship is thanks to the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Khaled. He stressed that everybody will exert marginal efforts to affirm the success of hosting this championship. We're going to see Brave Combat Federation 9 event happen. This is going to be the greatest fight card we've ever seen in the history of Brave Combat Federation yet. This fight, this fight card is going to have 16 fights all round. We're going to see all kinds of nationality from uh, Brazil to European to Indian to Pakistani to Philipp Filipinos, Bahraini, Hamza Kohiji is going to be part of the fight card. We're going to have Jordanian fight on the fight card, Mexican fight on the fight card, Moroccan fight on the fight card. So we're going to have 21 nations fight on the fight card. What's going to be really exciting is we're going to have something in this fight card prepared for everybody. We're going to have a fight card prepared for the expats from India or Pakistan not playing cricket, not playing football, they're going to be going inside the cage, locked doors and fighting and punching each other's face. So that's going to be one of the most exciting fights I think that's going to kick off the preliminary cards. You know, I'm looking forward to uh, the event, uh, obviously from the 12th to the, to the 19th. And for me, this has been a fantastic journey as part of the process to having the World Championships outside, uh, you know, America. So, uh, you know, we've had three World Championships uh, uh, in uh, USA. And to have the first one outside in Bahrain as part of that journey that we've been talking about for the last probably two years, I think that's a credit to uh, you know Your Royal Highness in terms of his support, his vision, and his legacy in terms of you know he sees the development of MMA and what it means to the, the next generation. And